Dr. Becky with Premier Chiropractic here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about ADHD and chiropractic. Now, in order to understand how chiropractic care can help a child with ADHD, we must first look what's going on neurologically with them. So if you think about a child with ADHD, you typically picture um, a kid bouncing around from one thing to the next, not able to pay attention, um, and just really not listening when you're talking to them, right? Sometimes there's behavioral issues and other things go along with that depending on their ages um, and depending on what kind of situation they're currently in. But those are some things that we think about. So let's take a look at what's going on neurologically. There is something called the autonomic nervous system, and this is responsible for bodily functions that are primarily done unconsciously, right? So um, things like your heartbeat, breathing, digestion, those are just a few, um, but things that are going to happen whether you think about them or not. Now, you can certainly do things to make heart rate go up. I can jump on the treadmill, start running, right? Um, my breathing is probably going to get a little bit increased, heartbeat, things like that. Um, but then there's some things that happen that activate one way or the other and, and control those two different things. So let's look at the two parts of the autonomic nervous system. We have the sympathetic, um, which is also known as fight or flight, if you've ever heard of that. And then we have the parasympathetic, also known as rest and digest. Um, so in the sympathetic side of your nervous system, you are going to have increased heart rate. This is when we're maybe running from a lion, right? So if you lived in uh, caveman days, if something was chasing you, this would turn on. So heart rate's going to go up, sweating glands are going to be activated, um, breathing is going to go up. That's going to happen regardless. You can't just say, I'm going to stop doing that, unless you don't care if you get, or get eaten by the lion. Um, and then the parasympathetic is rest or digest. So you've just had a big heavy meal, you're sitting down, kind of ending your day, you're in that parasympathetic state, your, your digestion takes place whether you like it or not. Um, that being said, if you just ate a big meal and you have digestion happening and now something clicks the sympathetic on, it can shut down the digestion. It can shut down the parasympathetic. Um, I'm going to give you a couple examples so you can kind of see what's going on. Let's say you are in 11th grade and you forgot you have a math test and you're sitting in math class and everybody's kind of looking through their notes and the teacher comes in and says, okay, put your notes away, there's a math test, right? What's probably going to happen? Um, heart rate's going to increase, your hands are going to get a little sweaty, you think, oh no, I totally forgot about that. Things like that are going to happen. You're in your sympathetic when you maybe came in ready to learn and be in your parasympathetic state, right? Um, another good example, you're driving down the road, you're, you know, feel like you're paying close attention to everything and you see a cop. Um, whether you're doing everything right, I think we've all been there before, your sympathetic kind of increases a little bit. So back to the child with ADHD. They are typically in this sympathetic state way more often than they are in parasympathetic. So in order to have a healthy autonomic nervous system, we need our sympathetic and our parasympathetic to be fairly even, to be able to be turned on or up or down when needed at the right moments to properly function, right? So the child with ADHD is in the sympathetic, this fight or flight way more often than they are in their, this parasympathetic state. So another great um, example is our sympathetics are like our gas pedal to a car and our parasympathetics are the brakes to the car, right? So you need to be able to turn on and on as needed. Um, in a child with ADHD, their gas pedal is to the floor um, and their brakes just barely work. They can sometimes turn them on, but they just don't work. So they're constantly going, 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 going. And, and that's what a child looks like with ADHD, right? They're constantly going. It's hard for them to rest. Um, even sleep falls into this parasympathetic. So sometimes they have trouble sleeping. Um, so that's the, that's the two different sides, and this is primarily where the child is at in the sympathetic. Now, let's take that child, they're in the sympathetic, and we are trying to teach them how to act socially, how to behave socially. Um, we're trying to teach them things in school to, to learn, and they're not getting very good grades because they are stuck in the sympathetic state. It's like we're trying to teach them and, and give them information and they're in this like stressed out, can't take any information in, the, the neurology isn't working properly, um, the brain to the body connection isn't working properly, right? So what, I guess the next question is, you know, how, what do you see in your office or what do I see in my office um, and how we kind of work with that. Now, I by no means treat ADHD. You don't bring your child in here and it magically goes away, right? It's not like a magic wand um, and it just goes away. But neurologically, 
I know I normally will see a child now here's here's kind of a example of the spine here the brain would be here brain stem comes through this hole down here through the spine and out the nerves you your parasympathetic and your sympathetic ganglion are in these nerves right right next to the vertebra here so a lot of times I'll see a misalignment typically of the top of the neck um, just putting a little bit of pressure on that nerve or there's you know no movement in there um, and it's it's activating the sympathetic is what is what we appears to be going on in those children so I will check for any misalignments correct them structurally and you know we, we kind of have that discussion in our office of what's all going on so from there after that discussion is had about what's going on with the child I check the neck see if they have any of those misalignments and I'm really working um, to reduce nervous system disturbances that can cause that um, abnormal balance of the parasympathetic and we work to balance that out so again it's not a magic wand but it is a tool in the toolbox of many things that can help your child um, as they grow and as they develop so that they're able to make those proper developmental um, stages and I'm happy Happy to evaluate your child to see if this could help him or her out. Just go ahead and give our office a call and we look forward to seeing you in our office.